Got one. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have found ourselves at a beautiful urban city pond. Actually just in the middle of the neighborhood. Uh, it's a smaller little deal, but it looks perfect for kayaks. Uh, there's a lot of bank that is not accessible if you're on foot. And we're going to make our way to the backside, which I feel gets hit least out of this entire place. It looks very froggy, top waters. But what Devin and I have on the agenda for y'all today is the heavy artillery, man. The big baits. If we can get a couple numbers secured on some smaller stuff just to get things going, we want to catch a big on something uh, quite large. We've got many big swim baits to choose from today. It's going to be a ton of fun. What time are we starting off at? Oh, my watch is like dead. I think it's like 4.50, 5 o'clock, and 5.39. Okay, sweet. So we got six or seven, So we got like four hours to fish, man. We got plenty of time. If we can get these things creeping low and slow on some big baits, it'd be a dream come true. Let's go ahead and get the kayaks in the water. We are rocking the bona fides this evening. If you want to check these things out for yourself, stability like no other, the things are amazing. I'll leave the information to them in the description. But uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get in the water. And we're off. Let's get kayak number two in the water. I don't know, man. She is looking too clean today. Brief rundown. Bending branches paddle with a measurement deal. We've got a rod up front. You can keep a lot of them holstered right here on the go. And we've also got three uh, ready to go on the back with the black box inside. We have a 10 pound anchor. It's one of those ones with multiple legs instead of a mushroom, so it gets uh, hooked to the grass pretty nicely. Red Gill's backpack ready for battle, carrying a lot of tackle. Got a little extra plastics right here in our money bag, which I'll just put under my seat, along with our Carl's bait and tackle box, where we get about 90% of our baits. You guys can save 30% on all your tackle over at Carl's bait and tackle. Got the scale in case we catch a big, which is what we're after. Got the extra GoPro batteries in here and our dry pod, keeping everything dry. Probably put the cell phone in there. And uh, that's about it, man. Thing is uh, stable as they come. Let's get this thing launched. Okie dokie, folks. I'm gonna see if anything will hit the lipless right off the bat. I'm probably not gonna be cruising it too high in the water column. I have a feeling that these fish are down low, trying to stay cool and not actively feeding at this very point in time in the day. But you can always hit them with that reaction strike if you get right in front of their face down low, which is the good thing about what I'm going to start off with. We'll see if this hits and if I get a lot of grass, I'm going to switch over to something. I think I got a swim jig tied on uh, that will catch less grass if that is a, a problem here. But I do want to rip through the grass and I either have grass or a fish now and it was grass. I mean, I felt no head shakes, so I just assumed, but sometimes those bass grab a hold and they just feel heavy and they're not fighting a whole lot right off the bat. But it is good news. I'm getting down into where the grass is. You want to rip through it with these lipless and really surprise those bass that are hanging out in the grass edges. I'm going to cast a little bit this direction so that my GoPro stays in the shade from the sun and doesn't overheat quite as fast because these eights like to overheat in the sunshine. And also, I got my back to the sun since we didn't bring any sunscreen. And even though I'm not necessarily looking up at the sun and I have a hat and I've got a hood, the reflection coming off the water gets your nose burnt regardless and you'd be red as a tomato very quickly. So while the sun, is burning hot. It is uh, 94, feels like 104 based on the Weather Channel app. I think I'm gonna cast this way for a second. I can't say I feel like I'm getting low enough to entice a strike with this thing right here, so I'm gonna switch over to the swim jig and try that out for a brief momento. I got a buzz bait and a spinner bait tied on. Um, I don't feel the need to throw any of those right off the bat. Those will probably get untied here in a minute. Let's see if there's anything. Oh, that was fantastic. Almost lost that. Let's see if there's anything under here in the shade. Here's some blue gill. Oh, there we go. Had something bite it. Oh, wow. Okay, well, there was something here. He just got the tail. Uh, I'm not sure if that was a bass. There is a lot of stuff cruising around shallow right here. I'm spooking right now. Big bluegill right below us. Good potential that was a bluegill that just take, took the rest of my swim bait that I might not have any more of. So that could be bad. Okay, well, check that out. No more saucy swimmers, but I have some brand new baits I got from Carl's on my last order. These are River to Sea brand. These are the... Uh, I don't know, they literally say, oh, rig walker. I was about to say, where does it say the name? <laughs> Paddle tail style swim bait. So exactly what my trailer was before it got munched. 
and guess what these things right here should have a good hookup ratio they got an exposed hook which means i'm going to catch more grass than the grass hero which is not what i'm looking forward to but i think i'll also get some fish on this thing so i'm going to boldly untie what i know will get hit and rig up this new bait that i'm quite curious to throw if this thing uh, kicks hard i'm going to be pretty stoked because I think this thing will get bit pretty quick and we won't miss a lot of bites again because that exposed hook also it's got a little slot if you want to add an extra treble here or uh, potentially if you were to like try and add a weight to get down deeper faster but i would assume most people uh, are going to put an extra treble hook on that little slot right there let me tell you it's hot in texas today Devin's over in the shade <laughs> oh my gosh i wonder if she's getting on him all right before we really make a cast let's just do this number right here see how she kicks oh my gosh Wow, okay, honestly, honestly, looks delectable. Y'all hear that backlash right there? Uh, I need to get that out, but I wanted to just cast right here and see if I get that fish that I missed first. Wow, this thing does kick nicely. Okay, I gotta make a cast out deep. Try and free that backlash, that bird's nest we had. There we go, okay. I'm gonna bring this back nice and slow. I'm curious if it's still kicking as good with how slow I'm reeling it. I'm gonna have to see. This is a seven, two to one gear ratio reel. Uh, so it's a, a good mid-range. Some people may consider that high, but I, I think when you're talking about most Shimano's, that's considered their mid-range. Okay, let's get back in the game, it looks good. Oh wow, just got hit. Hopefully I still have my tail. Tell me I have a tail. We've still got it, ladies and gentlemen. That is a deal. Got one. On the fall. I don't think it's that big, it felt good at first cool nice guys those white baits they love them here all right come on up in here first one of the day for me baby white swim baits all right so when you get them in the bottom lip it's best to try and grab hold of them here that way they don't teeter in a totter while you're getting that hook out i think that reel will stay put first bass in the boat let's go that is a plump little dude, and he hit that thing right as it was falling to the bottom. Let's get him back in the water, try and catch a giant man. I'm feeling good about the swim baits today. See what happens. See you, bud. I got him on that new white swim bait from that River to Sea company with the exposed hook. Yeah. If you want to throw one, it's just like you tie it and you throw it. It was like right on the fall. Y'all, so Devin and I are both going to anchor down. This is going to be my first time using this anchor. This is a little bit lighter than our other 10-pounder, but because of its... Uh, claw style and not mushroom i think it's going to get the job done i'm trying to see if this is i think it's like five pounds it doesn't really matter it's going to grab really nicely so i'm going to let this drop cool let it grab i think we're good now now that we got our anchor here let's tie a little loop and this loop i'm going to put on this guy right here might be a little loose but uh we'll see Casted one on this grass edge real quick. Oh, there's a hit. Oh no. Yeah, on the grass edge. Got him. Oh, dang it. They're smoking this little thing. Oh, he bit it again. What is going on? It's after I swim it and then I stop it, I get hit as it's falling. There we go, finally, Jesus. Come here. Uh-uh. Goodness. A little fight in you, huh? A little fight? A little fight? Come here. First fish in the boat for me. That didn't take forever. Jeez. Okay, you're not going to be able to do that. Been fighting for this one. Had to get the skunk off my back, and that dude was barely hooked. Getting it done on that Nico rig, but man, it took a minute. But feels good to catch a fish, I'll tell you what. My first one. Hold the GoPro, and we gotta get your... Oh, oh, peace on out, dude. 
Dang, you're mean. Time check, it's about 7.35. Who knows, maybe the bite's about to pick up. That'd be pretty dope. Uh, one and a couple misses on a white swim bait. Yep. You, you've been catching them, huh? Are you out here a lot or no? It's a sweet spot. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't have any lizards, but I've got some uh, some of the trench hogs, so I might try and throw one of those. You love? Yeah. And what are you doing with that? Play at the end of it. <laughs> no. I'm not playing. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, it's... The secrets. <laughs> you got digging a lot? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I use a lot of their stuff. They're the reason I make the videos. I saw their videos and so I started making them um, like a year and a half ago or something. Do you mess with Instagram or just mainly TikTok? Uh, TikTok. TikTok. Seth? All right, it's Weston. Weston. I'll see you around. Oh, yeah, I've heard of your name. <laughs> Have a good night, man. Oh, there we go. Gotcha. Where are you? You're in the grass. <laughs> You're all up in the grass. Hi there. But you totally devoured that Mondo worm. Too funny. All right, peace. Well, y'all, light is fading. I haven't thrown too many large swim baits, I do have to say, but those new swim baits are kick butt. What I'm gonna do, since I have this shaky head out, is I'm gonna put a little craw on here, and we're just gonna get down on the bottom and see if they'll hit because I am not securing nothing on the frog, the fluke. I threw a, a spinner bait for a second when there was a little bit more breeze a little while ago. Devin's throwing quite a few different baits and we just haven't found a good bite yet. Even though we're seeing these fish breach the surface, I have not got hit on the top water yet. So, tie this thing on, see if we can't get another couple before light fades. All right, look at that, crawling a shaky head. Looking pretty good. Let's see how she fares in the water. Yep. Got him. All right. Little guy on the crack and crawl. There we go. About time we get another fish. Holy smokes, it's taken all day. This is my second fish right there on the grass edge on the crack and crawl. Not a big, but that was a good feeling right there. I thought I lost him when I set the hook because he didn't have much weight, but we kind of figured out exactly why there was not that much weight, didn't we? <laughs> Subscribe for the bigs. Let's get back in the game. Next cast. Oh no. Had the bites now. Had a bite. He's on. Crack and crawl time. They're just right here on the grass edge now. It's getting to be too easy. Well, you might be starting to get on them now. All right, let's get back in there. It would have been nice to know they just wanted a juicy crack and crawl this whole time. I'm just letting it fall right down here on the grass edge and they're smoking it. If you don't get it on that first fall, you probably better just reel it up and cast it another spot because they're hanging out right on the edge, waiting for anything to peep out of there. And I'm keeping my line tight. I'm kind of lowering the rod tip as it drops. So I'm making sure there's no slack so I can feel them hit it because they're going to probably hit it on the way down. And sometimes those bites are hard to detect. There he is. All right. Number three in like three minutes. Biggest one so far. That's three in three minutes. Whew. Heck yes. See you, bud. Oh, wow. He did a triple flip. Devin came over to join the fun. They are right here, boys. Grass edge. Hit him with the crawl. Got him. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> four. <laughs> They're stacked. <laughs> Only so much light left. We gotta catch some more, man. That is the we're tearing them up now. Crazy. Oh wow. Well, that was a bite. Got him. There we go. Alright. Another decent one. These things are active, man. This is probably the last catch of the night. We got him buried way back here. Hope y'all can see that. Let me take a look. Oh yeah, you guys can see him. What a fish right there. Probably the last one of the evening. Nice little chunk on the crawl. Possibly the one I just missed. Threw right back in there. See you, bud. Look at that little flash. Y'all see that? Well guys, I would say we are making our last few casts of the evening. What an awesome bite there at the end. Holy smokes, thank goodness for that because it was a rough one. So, just know sometimes stick it out, switch your baits up. It can get tough, especially during the summertime, but if you hang out, hit sunrise, maybe you wait till sunset, you can get on that fire bite as these things are active and feeding. The midday heat, they're probably out deep. Do what you gotta do to catch these fish, man. <gasps>